Hello, Monster Fan here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 15 of my Morgo the Shadow Gave campaign. Where chaos has spawned, and we're going to kill him. But first, we need to kill these guys. These guys are. Wherever Kem Kemler starts, they're. At yeah, the dwarves have taken it, and now we're going to kill the dwarves. Is everyone. A is everyone. A right, so the look, Kemler was here, Kemler's died, and now the dwarves are taking it over, and now we're killing the dwarves. So we're in Kemler's house, but there's dwarves here. Is everyone... Is everyone down with that plan? Is everyone... Right, is, is everyone on the same page? Yes? Okay, good. Then, then we'll, we'll carry on. We've got reinforcements coming in as well. And we're smashing down that gate. And uh, we've made a hole in the wall. You might be saying, why aren't we using the hole in the wall? And the answer is, what do you want me to do? Like, reorder my units? Tell them to attack again? What am I? What did your last servant die of? Insolence? Fucking hell. You're so... Anyway, the point is we're attacking the attacking the gate and we're going to smash down the gate and then once the gate's smashed down we're going to enter the city, all right? Not through the hole in the wall. That would be they would be expecting that. They're probably expecting us to come through the gate, but that's not the point. We're coming through the gate anyway. So surprise motherfuckers. Beep beep. In goes Boris the flesh eater. Boris the flesh eater's got an amber spear in him, I think. And uh, that's that's not an innuendo. It's just he's going to cast it. He's going to cast amber spear best one in the game, of course. Oh what a hit. Best spell in the game. That's right. People may say it's not, but they're wrong. They're just wrong. Little flock of doom because slowly losing health is is Morgar's theme. Oof, that's a lot of that's a lot of airborne dwarves. We have reinforcements. They're attacking the other gate for us. It's good. G good job, guys. And uh, we have a look at the the dwarf numbers here. We can see they are dropping pretty quickly. God, I'm, I'm so glad they added Jabba Slides. That's so good. Little chunks of dwarves being thrown up in the air. One of our Jabba Slides is just doing his own thing. Which is fine. No, we don't we don't subscribe to any particular strategy. We're playing it by ear, keeping it loose. You know, my door is always open. I don't have a door, I'm a beast man. We don't have I mean I, I don't even have walls to be honest, so a door would seem like surplus requirements in many ways. There's something in Cygors here, because we're trying to break through this big dwarf cordon, and it's not going very well. So I've decided to summon a Cygor, or two. Why not two? You know, you've got one. Why not another one? And then we're going to chuck boulders at this big blob of dwarves over here. Because chucking boulders at the back of a horde of dwarves is very jammy. As in, it produces a lot of jam. Great! Now, they do have... Look, these iron drakes are coming in to melee the cygors to try and stop them. Which is a ballsy move. I grant you. Right, we're... We're, we're rampaging now. Right in the city centre. Oh... In comes Boris. Gets landed on by a Jabba Slide. That's an occupational hazard in Morgo's army. Sometimes Jabba Slides happen. Live, laugh, Jabba Slide. That's what we have scrawled on our wall in feces. Again, Beast Men, that's... And we don't have a wall, so... That's what we would have on our wall if we had one. But we don't. I don't care what your kink is, mate. You're dead either way. Rampaging Jabba Slides. It's probably my most favourite thing now. Yeah. I would. The day Jabba Slides came to town. Looks like we're overrunning the dwarves everywhere. Just these quarrelers really just, just like, annoying the Chaos Spawn. Not really doing too much damage. Just, just kind of irritating them. As we've rampaged around the city centre, just killing anyone we can get our hands on. I just went to take a big gulp of tea. Turns out I've drunk my tea already, which is just the worst thing. When, you, when you're thirsty, you get to take a drink and you realise you've already drunk it. I'm just, I'm just annoyed. Alright, Karak Zephyr in the deads. 
And I can't resettle that either. Good. Screw you guys. Screw you short, stunty bastards. You're going to spread fear for no particular reason. Because no point training. Oh, we almost, almost lost a manticore. We only had 21 health points left. Wow. Literally skinny of teeth. Nail-biting stuff. Uh, let's go wound make. I wasn't even paying attention to him. So much I think of my minions. Okay, so it looks like it's a little blob of Bretonians trying to gather at Marienburg. So need to bot that. I also want to maybe kill Chaos, but I don't know if I'd be bothered. It depends. Guess we'll see. All right, we can go and hit Salzenmunds. Torch that. Nice sneeze. I meant to go and buy a whole bunch of magic items, and I didn't. Because, to be honest, who needs magic items when you can summon in 50 Cygors? Just, you know, just... Yeah, you, you can you can get a nice axe, but if, if everyone you're going to use it on has been reduced into a fine paste, it's... You know, is it useful? Arguably, maybe not. Unworkable. All right, what have you got here? Garrison? No garrison. Okay, well, I can't see any armies nearby. So, oh, God, you've got a lot of mortars. A lot of mortars. Okay, we'll build some siege towers to help take that, because those mortars will be... Ugh. I can't. Oof. Got a lot of gunny people. Not a fan. So I'll upgrade that. Now, Alarmant Dahl is no longer a threat because he's confederated with Wolfric, and Wolfric, I think, likes me. Maybe? He does like me. In fact, he likes me quite a lot. Because mostly my military actions against Corone, which is... You know, fine. Uh, we'll perform the ritual because I don't need to really worry about the marks of ruination. I say don't need to really. I mean, I literally don't need to worry about them. Do not need them. Do not need them anymore. Not possible. We'll see if you attack. I don't think you will. Hello, you doing a little bit of recruiting up there? Interesting. All right, is there anyone home in Norden? My guess is probably not. Oh, no, there is. Unachievable. Sergov Hall is there. All right, we'll lay... A little ambush down there. I don't think you're any threats. So we just need, really need the, the siege towers there because I think they're really going to help. Right, Kazrak is going to get Manslayer. So how many Bestigors can we get? Just that, so we can get three more. So let's get rid of you. Where are my Bestigors at? There they are. There they are. Okay, let's hop down here. So we need to f hit Fort Begbus, which should be easy because I don't. Well, yep. Yeah, plus, it's on. It's been plagued, so there shouldn't. Everyone should be taking damage. No one's having a good time. We need to. There's. I don't know who that is. Uh, Bowman, the Devoted, and of course the famous. Marius, we fought him before, and we'll fight him again. And they get, they got some no-name goon with them as well. So we'll grab that, and that, and we'll grab the Winds of Malady to help out. Because, you know, plague. Yes, we're plaguing our allies, and no, I don't care. Looks like... Looks like Throt might be moving on Erengrad. Make our life a little bit easier. I don't know if I can be bothered to deal with Chaos. It's not that I couldn't deal with them. It's mostly just, it seems a lot of, like, you know, fighting. Plus, I am going to be away this weekend. And as such, I'm having to record videos ahead of time. Which means I'm trying to, like, stack some up. So it might be good to just kind of get this campaign out of the way. Uh, military Alliance. Uh, okay, yes, if you just go away and leave me alone... So clingy. Very, very clingy. Have you got some... You've got friends to help you. You have Stig Rodzina. It says Pyrrhic Victory. Do, 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 do we think we can win? 
do we think? You know what? I'm gonna. I think I'll pull back from that. I'm gonna pull back. You ha mm, what's going on there? Did they? I think they killed Wolfric's army. So I think they've killed Wolfric's army. I could go and kill Chaos. I kind of want to just kick Archaeon in the head. Um, no, well, yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. Yes. Yes, I guess. That way, at least, you won't cause me a... Oh, I don't mind. E either one, to be honest. Critical f Daniel Laharko. Bastards. Right, who's this? Stig, you got the ambush. Sorry, Stig, you're dead. Stig of the dump. Stig of the dead. What happened to... Oh, maybe that army attacked Throg and he won. It looks like Throg might have actually sacked that settlement. So I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to put a herdstone in here. I mean, that made my life easier. You know me, I think for a quiet life. Weren't you here? Do not take me for a fool. Where was Rod's... Oh, were you there? No, that's Volkmar. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll torch that one. Let's just chill out for a sec. Let's grab vile... T right, so the Empire has, by the looks of it, two, two settlements plus Fort Bergbus. Marienburg is still holding out for the moment. I say for the moment because we're about to hit it with everything we've got. I don't I want to hit I want to hit the city so they don't run away. Right. Continue the siege. Not that I don't think we can win it anyway, but we're going to bring Now, what do you have? You've got some giants. I could replace Hmm. Nah, that's probably fine. Okay. Kazrak, you go and help with that. And then I'm going to send Arnold over to deal with this fort. It's been plagued for a while, so I'm hoping... Yeah, they've all taken quite a lot of damage, which means we can just auto resolve that one. Nice and easy. Adding to our pile of... Oh, look at this. Look. Oh, so much corruption everywhere. This is fantastic. How the f fuck? That's interesting. Why? Why are these settable? Maybe because... They were raised before we had the Herdstone? Because we lost the Herdstone. I wonder if that's intended. I genuinely don't know what's going on there. Oh well, I mean, it's it's really not the end of the world, is it? I mean, we are, but the Skaven resettling some some trash is is not the worst. As long as as long as the Wood Elves are dead, I don't care. Now, I wanted to attack the city because that means we get all the Bretonians in one in one place. Basically. They think I've attacked a fortified position. What I've actually done is made sure they're all in a nice little confined area where I can murder them all. They keep opening the door though, which is annoying. Kazrak's forces are on their way, and of course his Bestigors can stalk, so at least the towers won't see them. Not that there's going to be many towers left. We've made a hole in the wall, but we're still going to come through the door, as is tradition. Because, you know, it, otherwise, there's a lot of work went into these doors. Artisan. Artisan doors. And if we just come through the gate, there's, there's going to be some some door maker there weeping because his door was was rendered pointless. And I don't want that on my conscience. So what we're going to do is we're going to, come, we're going to smash through that door and kill everyone inside. 
Where's that wind going? Don't know what that, what, don't know what that plan was. Okay, we need to smash down the gates. Got some Flock of Doom coming in. That's a lot of Flock of Doom. The walls are breached yet again. We're still going to come through the gate again. It's, it's just it's just what we do. Now, unfortunately, the, the Broodmother is being attacked by Luan Leonke, as well as this guy. I don't know who this one is. Some guy. D don't know. Can't read it. It's just it's so boring. Where is my... Where's my Shaman? Where's my Bray Shaman? Where is he? He's around here somewhere. I know he's usually the first one in because he wheels around in his chariot. It's not a big deal. Anyway. So we're under attack a little bit here. And the Jebusites are taking quite a chunk. Oh, there he is. He's got 11 kills so far with his Flock of Doom. It's not the best spell, but it does like slowly weaken everyone. And that means when the Jebusites jumps on them, they explode. Which is what I like. So rampaging around, but it looks like the Broodmother's in a little bit of trouble here as Luan Luan, oh, Luan's taken a lot of damage himself. So we're going to get Morga in his help. Morga's just eventually managed to strut into the city because he gets caught behind all the Jabba slides because he's not a big boy. So the Broodmother and Luan Luan are, are duking it out. An enemy lord is dead. I don't know who that is. I don't really care. And in comes Morga. So suddenly Luan is losing a lot of health very, very quickly. He's getting pummeled. He's getting... He's... he's He's poisoned. He's going insane. That's Chaos Sport. And he died. He died. He died. Uh, that's the enemy lord over there. I think we've got more enemy... Uh, there's more reinforcements pouring into the city. Maybe too little too late, though. As the Jebba Sly's rampage through the city centre. There's dead Bretonians everywhere. And there's now Kazrak's forces pouring into the city. They're not using the gate. But that's fine. I mean, we, we're, we're well and truly inside the city now. Knights, reinforcements pouring in, trying to stem the tide. But they're, you know, fighting street by street and it's not looking good. Are they still coming in as reinforcements? Is this it? Is this all they've got? Three and a half thousand Bretonians desperately trying to fend off. Kazrak's forces pushing in on the right. Meanwhile, Morgo's forces pushing in on the left and the centre. Lots of people just dropping dead all over the place, thanks to the Jabba Slies and, of course, Morga himself. Another enemy lord is dead. I can't... I've lost count of how many I've killed now. Should be most of them. The Chaos Sport... Is, is there... No, is, there's still more Bestigors pouring into the city. Over huge piles of dead bodies. Just how we like it. sure most of the knights actually i mean if we have a look at the the losses here uh so we've got a lot of knights here that actually probably escaped the battle it did seem like a lot of knights ran away was that just me it definitely looked like a knot of knights getting scarpering whereas the the poor bloody infantry got absolutely slaughtered classic okay so i'm hoping we can finish you off Got the ambush. Perfect. Let's kill you. Ooh, Massimoon's Pride. Actually a really nice weapon. And I'm hoping we might be able to kill you off as well. Oh. Look at that. Is that... Yep. Okay. So, let's have a quick look at the old victory conditions. So, tick, tick. Just need to kill the Reichland. They're still, they're still alive. Just about. Brasskeep, Wolfenberg and Erengrad. I think that's... The, oh, and Middenstag as well. Oh, and they've also got some here. Okay, they've got a fair few cities. But we... I mean, the, the rate that we tore through Bretonia barely slowed down, just carved our way through that. Nothing can stand before us. Maybe I will kill Archeon, because... 
It depends, because he won't show up until all of the first wave are dead. And it depends, like, how Malekith deals with it. Because if he kills them quite quickly, it might be alright. But otherwise, they'll destroy some stuff over here and then slowly sail down. And it can take flipping ages for them to actually die. So I'm kind of like, might just leave it. Maybe I'll kill the first wave. If they show up quickly, we'll go and kill Archeon. Otherwise, show them the true... The true children of chaos are. Took a, took a, took a rare old beating. Those, uh, those Bretonians fought back. Oh, actually, you know what? Get fueled by blood. Because that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's right. What do you have? So you've got the Dark Mail. Okay, you've got Scourge. You don't have a Talisman or an Enchanted Armor. Uh, so, what can we buy here? So we can get, so that we can get a Champion's Essence. So let's get two of those. You know, why not? It's all different fucking... The buttons aren't in the same place. It's the worst. Okay, so we have a mad, uh, Magister. Nope, Banner of Madness. Flying Spy. Nope, Banner of Madness. Three banners. And then we got the three, which is fine. Kazrak, you're going to have uh, one of them. I'm also going to give you a potion of healing. And we're going to give you a couple of those. You've also got Stand Discipline, but they're terrible, so have more. Have more banners of madness. There we go. And your little friends. You need a. Yeah, let's have one of those. Let's have. You know what? This is actually pretty, pretty legit. So grab that, and then probably, you know, some of this, some of this stuff. Some of that stuff is fine. You don't actually have a shaman, do you? You could, you could recruit one. So let's get a Bray Shaman. And we will get what are you perceptive, intelligent, unsated bloodlust. Weapon strength plus 10% for. Oh, but more winds of magic. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you. We've got immortality off the bat. We can get a pair of shades. That's always nice. Magical Reserves, Arcane Conduit, Occam's Mind Raise is a nice one to have. Have the Withering, that's all pretty good. Some nice debuffs and spells in that lot. Okay, anyone not moved? Gerald, Bob, you're going to get Bloodlust and... Uh, I don't know, like... Blessed by Evil? We'll perform this. Don't need to rush... Don't need, the, don't need to rush, don't need the marks, is what I meant to say. My phone distracted me for a second, something flashed up, and I was like, what does that say? Trying to read it while talking at the same time? Can't multitask. Not good at things. Not do not do good multiple things same time. Bad when that happened. Cost of skill. Eh, yeah, meh. Casualty replenishment might be quite nice. Sure, why not? You can just throw caution to the wind. Let's get stuck in. Kill off these dweebs. Take the money. And then because we're replenished anyway, we can just do raiding. Uh, if I... Okay, I can't get over there. So we'll just... Hop over here. Volkmar is in attendance. You're recruiting. Now, can we reach Gorse? Yes, we can. Morga can reach it. Okay, we're hit. Aranu? Aranau? Oh, yeah, I can put the banners. So, Banner of Mantis on you. And on, I don't know, you. And then, with any luck, everyone gets madness all the time. Baggy trousers. Action. 
So spread fear, because I don't know what else to give you. Um, excuse me. Did you just, did you just go and... Did, oh, did, oh you, you bloody didn't. Oh, you bloody... Right, right. Well, first things first. Right, well, first things first. You, come down here and torch this. The absolute bloody cheek of it. I swear to God. I'm going to raise a herdstone there just for shits and giggles. They, they saw us completely murder them and then just decided to sneak down and just go and quietly resettle it directly under our nose. I... What, what were you thinking? It doesn't matter what you're thinking, because you're dead. Are you dead? Oh no, you've got this stuff down here. You're these guys. Well, that's fine. Someone else can kill you. I have other things to be doing. I've got bigger fish to fry. Anyway, in the lore, the Beastmen are the forgotten children of Chaos. The, the Chaos Gods know they exist, and they're kind of like, ah, oh, they're fun. But they don't really kind of like put any effort into them, and the, the other followers of Chaos kind of look down upon them. So I feel like maybe we should just get stuck in here, murder Archeon, and be like, well, look what happened to your champion. He got his head stamped on, and guess who's the big bad in the old world? That's right, it's us. It's the goat boys and the cowboys. D different type of cowboy and, and in some cases the very tall horny people but ultimately you know not Archeon that's his shiny little head just got hacked off so I think maybe we just kill the chaos warriors I kind of want to kill the chaos warriors I think we're going to kill the chaos warriors uh, I'm going to get rid of the you know what? I'm going to get rid of chaos spawn I'm going to get rid of the chaos spawn how much oh we got lots I'm going to get some Gorgons, and maybe one of you. So you settle down for a sec. So we're going to have you, and then you can come and join us. Okay, so we're going to murder the Empire. Once the, You know what, the Dwarves actually are doing quite well for themselves. I thought I had them on the ropes, but they are... They're storming ahead. What does Clan Eshin feel what about them? The I do not like them. Good. I'm glad. Clan Eshin, finish off the dwarves for me. Now, I did get Throt to declare war against Chaos, and he's probably regretting that decision. But that's fine, because we're going to go over there and, well, not so much help him, but... Kill the Chaos Warriors just because? It's just because a good reason? It's a very Beastman reason. Look at these jerks strutting around in their big heavy armor. Yeah, throw boulders at them. That'll show them. Oh, I've got this the tooltip stuck. I hate it when that happens. Worship your beasts. It's fine. Right, I need to go and deal with this. So we'll hop over there. Erengrad is going to get torched. Really? Pyrrhic victory? It is a city. It does have a big garrison. Is that a problem? Not really. I can summon like a bajillion Cygors. That's not a problem. Alright, well, we're going to completely murder Baldrick. He may have a cunning plan, but I bet it doesn't account for having 50 boulders flung at him a second. So we'll kill Baldrick, but that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.